Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I am in a very strange place, sitting in my room in the floor in front of the bed because I'm actually gonna be filming a playing with me video. I did one for September and a lot of you guys said you liked it and wanted to see more. So I'm gonna be planning for the month of October. But right now there's people downstairs. My girls are downstairs cleaning the kitchen. My husband's downstairs making a bunch of noise and I didn't really feel like I could film this down there where I normally would have. So in typical mom fashion, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do wherever I need to do it, which just weirdly happens to be in the floor of my room, but that's okay. That's actually the benefit of the planner that I made. I uh, did a video about it a few months ago. I've talked about it a few times, my DIY binder planner. That's one of the beauties of having this. I am not tied down to a desk. I'm not tied down to any type of electronic device. I can take this wherever I want and get my planning done. So we are gonna be planning for the month of October. I have a few things off camera that I don't wanna show just because there's personal information on it. Um, so I have my family bucket list for fall, which I did a whole video about that. I will link it. So I've got that kind of in front of me so that I can see and not that that's really, that sounds like a thing that wouldn't be private, but there's some people's names on it. So I have that over there so that I can look and see, you know, are we going to be able to schedule any of those things in October? We've already done some of those things, um, or I have already planned and like solidified when we're going to be doing some of those things and other things that I still want to get done that's not marked off yet is on that list. So I have that there out of the way. I also have it looks like this. It is a just the calendar that you print from your computer. Um, if you have a Mac, just like the free calendar that I keep on my at my desk on the wall. That lives there with appointments and my oldest daughter's work schedule and anything we have coming up. Um, so I have that for October down here. I'm not going to show it just because it does already have things written in with people's names on it, but it's just a basic horizontal calendar that I keep at my desk so that I can see I'm at my desk a lot between working at home and doing a lot of uh, doing all the family book work and then also homeschooling I'm at my desk most of the day I'm there more than I am really anywhere else um, so I keep that at my desk so that I can see at a glance all the time what what's going on who needs to be where and stuff like that so I kind of have two calendars even though they have the same information so I have the one on my wall that has the appointments and everything on it and I have pretty much a redundant copy of that in a vertical format like this that lives in my planner. That way if I'm not at my desk and I'm taking this binder planner to go, I've got in front of me um, appointments and stuff. So if I'm planning on the go, I don't have to say, oh, I gotta wait till I get home to see you know, what day so-and-so needs to be there. So that's why I have two calendars. If that makes no sense to you, that's okay. We all plan differently, um, but that works for me. And basically I'm gonna be taking you through and planning for the month of October, just like I did last month. So if you like playing with me videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. This is a very real and non-aesthetic planning video. I don't have a super beautiful planner. I don't have super amazing pens and stickers and decals and all that stuff. This is like 100% functional, real life planning to me. That is, you know, doesn't take an unnecessary amount of time and actually helps me to be more productive versus spending a bunch of time focusing too much on how it looks and not actually getting stuff done. I know a lot of people love that. And if that's your thing and you really get into that, then, you know, by all means, deck out your planner however you want. But for me, I do like it to be cute, but I can also be very easily distracted by stickers and, and trying to make things perfect. So as much as I would love to show you just a beautiful planner spread and layout, that's not really what this video is. That's not how I plan. So I am gonna go into my monthly tab. Let me turn the camera down. Okay, so this is the monthly tab of my planner. And if you wanna see all the different tabs I have and what I have in here, then definitely check out my DIY planner video. This is just a free vertical calendar print uh, printable that I got online that is undated, obviously. So that way I can use these same printables over and over and over by just writing in the dates myself. And I don't mind to do that. So I just can't believe that it is almost October. This year has flown by and I'm actually learning a lot and in the process of figuring out how to master, well, I don't wanna say master, but figuring out how to incorporate slow living techniques into my life because time is going way too fast, uh, especially when it pertains to my kids. I think having kids makes time go faster, but then at the same time, you want to be able to relish the time that they're home and that you have them. And when time's going so fast, you know, I'm not getting 
to spend as much time doing things with them as I want. I mean, I still spend a lot of time with them, but I think it's just the nature of being a parent. So here's the month of October. I've got everything dated out. Um, and I'm just going to start by filling in things that I know that we need to do. So let me zoom you in a little bit. The girls have, we have eye appointments on the 6th. So now that my daughter's working, my oldest, that'll be something I have to make sure um, this coming week. We're in the last week of September right now, but I'll have to make sure that when they make her schedule, she needs to make sure that she's off for that, or at least she works after that. Um, and then on the second, we're going to my parents' house. My brother, I don't know why I didn't capitalize the D. I know that should be capitalized. Don't, don't come at me for not, I don't know why I did that. Um, my whole family's actually going. My brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew are supposed to be there. You know, hopefully if everybody's feeling good, I always say that now, I disclaim, if everybody's healthy, we're gonna go. So that'll be fun. Um, and then what else do we have? We have a couple things at church, three of the weeks at night, there's like a special thing that my husband and I are going to be doing while the girls are doing their youth groups. So that'll be on Sunday or on Wednesday, three of these Wednesdays. I can't talk and write at the same time, apparently. Um, let's see what else. I have a few other things on my calendar that I'm not going to write in here just yet because I don't know for sure what day it's going to be, but I know we're doing a pumpkin trail one day next month. Um, I also know that the girls are going to be going to the, the skating like Halloween party that we usually go to every year, but they haven't announced yet what day that's going to be. It's not always on Halloween, so it may be, it may not be. Um, but these are the only definite things that I know of for sure. So now I'm going to, and I'll add those things in as, as things become, you know, more solidified, I, I put them on the calendar on my wall, but I also will come in here and put it on my calendar in my planner so that I know, you know, where everybody needs to be. So anyway, for October, um, I talked about in my September video, we were going to go to Gatlinburg. We're actually going to Gatlinburg in November. So I can mark that off. I had like penciled in that we were going to be going to, to Gatlinburg, but unless something changes, we will not be going in October. Um, I actually have some Christmas prep that needs to be done. Um, so I need to make sure, try to make sure that, uh, I need to finish the girls Christmas shopping because if you guys have watched my channel for a while, then you remember, or you would know that I do a gift guide series on my channel every year. That's typically always the weekend or the week before Thanksgiving. That way you can get some ideas. And then when the Black Friday sales and the Cyber Monday sales come out, you may be able to look for some of those things on sale. Um, so that means for me though, that I have to be done with my Christmas shopping by the end of October so that I can film those the first week in November, get them edited and uploaded for you uh, in time for Thanksgiving. So that is something I need to do. Um, also need to, related to Christmas is, uh, let's see, I'm gonna put pre-Christmas cleaning by the end of the month and you're gonna probably think why, because that's October, but a couple reasons. Um, Main, well, the main reason is we decorate for Christmas right after Halloween. And Halloween this year is on a Monday. We will need my husband's help getting all the Christmas stuff out of the attic. So what we'll probably do is on, on the day after Halloween, which will be November 1st, I will take down all the fall stuff, box it up, and pack it up. And then when my husband is off that week, um, he can put the Christmas stuff, he can get the Christmas stuff out of the attic and put the Halloween stuff in the attic. And then we should be able to decorate for the Christmas with the Christmas stuff on November 6th, which actually for us is late. Um, last year, I think we even decorated on Halloween, if I remember right. I know we like to decorate early, so it's a thing, but that means I'll need to have my pre Christmas cleaning done by like the first few days of November, preferably by the end of October. So that's why that's that. And I'm also planning on filming a video about it. So I want to have it up for myself, but also for your guys' sake too. 
Um, so that, so that's the Christmas related stuff. I did clean off the computer. I did set up the external hard drive. Um, I still have not done the table and the thing, the kitchen cabinets I got to fix. But like I said, this is the last week of September. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get that done by the end of this month, this week. If I don't, then I'll, put, I'm going to go ahead and put it in October. Um, if I get it done by the end of September, then that'll just be an easy thing to mark off of October. So touch up kitchen cabinets. Cause they, if you didn't watch last month's video, they our cabinets and our table are painted and there's a couple little nicks and stuff out of them. And I deep cleaned our kitchen like last month or this month. And that was on the list. That's the last thing I need to do to officially say the kitchen is deep cleaned and everything before Christmas. So touch up the kitchen cabinets and the table. Also, we're going to have to straighten the garage. We did not get that done in September, but I'm not worried about it because my husband did work on his workbench, which was the main thing that was holding us back because I don't know where any of that stuff goes. And he did that last weekend. So pretty much now what's left to fix in the garage is all stuff I know what to do with and I need to do stuff with. Um, so that'll be something I'll just have to set aside some time to go out there. Probably take me a few days, you know, go out there an hour or two at a time and work on that. I have nature walk on our, that's one of the things on our bucket list. So I'm going to put more bucket listy type things over here that we were hoping to do. So Gatlinburg, like I said, would have originally been in October. But we're doing that in November. A nature hike, we actually may be doing today after I get done, depending on how long it takes me to film the videos I need to film. We actually may be doing that today. Not to say it's the only one we're going to do the entire fall season, but it will at least be done one so that I can kind of mark it off my list. Um, we did not get to make crock pot applesauce last or in September. I keep saying last month because mentally I'm already in October, but technically it's still September for a few more days. But we didn't get to do that on the first day of fall like we planned. Um, so I still want to do that. Oh, also Kentucky down under definitely need to go there in October. I have a group on for it that will expire, but also by the time November comes, it's going to be getting a little too cold and, and, I mean, we still have some nice weather in November, but it's a little iffy. So I think we really need to try to get that done in October. I was going to pick a new workout program. I am just getting ready to finish the Caroline Gervin fuel program. I talked about that in I think my last planning video, it's taken me longer than six weeks. It's a six weeks program, six week program. I knew it was going to take me longer than six weeks. Um, and it definitely has. I've had a rough month and like I've had a rough week and a half. Like I haven't even worked out in like a week and a half. So originally I, my plan was to start a new workout program, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm just going to write down recommit to workouts because I like some things about a program, but there are some things I don't like. And one of the things I don't like is I tend to get bored easily not just the type of workout, um, because you know, Carolyn Gervin alternates her workouts, but I think I just get tired of the same people, honestly, and as mean as that sounds and no offense, it's nothing against her or anybody else. It's just, I get tired of doing the same person's workouts over and over and over. I like to mix it up. So I'm just going to write, write recommit. I don't know why that looks that way. It's two M's. Um, recommit to working out because I've kind of gotten burned out. I think part of that was doing the program, even though I like the program overall, I just want to recommit to doing it and basically choosing not just basically choosing what I feel like, you know, obviously alternating body groups and cardio with strength. No, not, not that, like, I'm not going to do the same thing every day, but I mean, just whoever I feel like, whatever the, the YouTube instructor and whatever their style, just doing that and going back to what I was doing before I started Caroline Gervin, which was just planning my own workouts. I know pretty much how to structure things. Um, and I, I do think I want to also stick with the more strength, less cardio theme that is in the Caroline Gervin program that I'm working through. But I don't, that's one thing I don't like is for me, it's not enough cardio. So I think I, I think I can figure that out on my own and, and just recommit to working out and making it more of a priority. Um, I also need to deep clean the pet cages 
but I'm just going back and forth. There's no rhyme or reason for why. I'm just looking at my master list, my brain dump of things that I need to do. I keep a brain dump of every single thing I can think of I need to do. Um, and I use that list to help me plan out my weeks and my months. So that's where I'm, that's what I'm looking at over here off camera is a, just a big old long list of stuff that I need to do. Um, and then just kind of filling it in on which side I feel like it goes on. This, this side tends to be uh, more home projects and bigger things. And this side tends to be like, you know, special things that I want to focus on or places we want to go and things like that. So I need to have a date with my husband. We have not had a date since June. And even that is a rarity. We only did that because it was our anniversary. So I need to figure out something we can do. Um, we have a couple yard things we need to work on. He needs to, we took it, we had to cut a tree down over the summer and it left like a hump in the yard. So he said he was going to try to like dig that out and flatten it out. And then we'll need to, along with that, um, plant seed in the front. And then also we need to decide about, um, well, I'm going to put plant seed in the back. We have a, a naked spot back there that the utility people dug up and so we need to put some seed out there. We'll also need to decide about our pear tree once the leaves fall off because it is horribly mangled by the people's trees behind us that have grown through it and basically dwarfed it and just, it's, it's really sad actually. Um, because their trees are so big and overgrown that it has pretty much destroyed our trees. We need to decide about our pear tree, whether or not we're going to try to just trim it or cut it down or what we're doing with that. Probably also should cycle through our water storage. Uh, we have some different water, like emergency storage that we've had now probably in there for a while. And I heard that you're supposed to pour it out and like freshen it up every couple months. I don't know if that's really necessary, but we probably should. And it would be a good time to do it because when we plant seed, we can use the water that are in the different jugs and stuff to water the grass. So we're not just wasting water for no reason. So that, and then also with winter coming, he needs to make sure that the propane tank works and is in good working order and is filled and everything just in case we have any winter storms. I heard somebody say that the farmers, farmer's almanac said we're supposed to have a bad winter. Don't know if that's true, but that's what it says. Something else I want to put on here is a family movie night. We did that a few weeks ago. It was like an impromptu thing, and we might actually be able to do it tonight, too. Not that we can only do one, you know, but it's hard to find movies that everybody wants to watch that's appropriate for everybody. Um, but we did that a few weeks ago, and it was really fun. So I think we might try to do that more often and make it a habit. I would like to do a Halloween, some type of, well... I don't want to say Halloween, but some type of fall homeschool thing um, with my youngest, some kind of project, craft or something, um, just to make it fun and festive. So I might need to look into doing something for that. I think that's pretty much it for the month of October. Now I also am adding a new printable to my work, to my planner that I just printed off. But for now, I'm going to try out in the front of my planner right before I get to my brain dump because that's where I go the most often. And this is basically just my gratitude calendar of little daily things that I am happy about, thankful for, grateful for, just to really focus on that. I do have a gratitude prompt in my prayer journal, but I don't always use my prayer journal every day. Sometimes I just pray without writing it down. So I thought this would be a nice way to make sure that I'm writing those things down. So I went ahead and printed out October, but today is the 25th. So that drives me nuts that I wrote that on the right side, but the other ones are on the left, but it's okay. So I'm going to write down something that I just thought of that we've been doing and have been doing all summer is family walks and crunchy leaves because we took a family walk and the leaves are all on the sidewalk and they're super crunchy and I am a child and I still like walking through them. So that was the one for today. And I'll be able to finish out this week in here and then have the whole month of October. So that's something new that I'm putting in here. It may not stay here, but like I said, this is the most visible part of my planner that I see the most. 
So I feel like having it here will help me to remember to make a more conscious effort. I feel like I already am. Part of my nature is I think just naturally noticing things that are nice and exciting and happy and, and good when they happen. Um, I know some people have a lot harder of a time finding the good in things or finding a lot of those little moments, but I feel like I've always been pretty good at that. But I still think there's always room for improvement. And there's always things that we could be more aware and noticing of blessings and things big and small that happen to us throughout the day. So I figured that'd be a good thing to add to my planner. So that is my plan with me for the month of October. Obviously, you know, this is over and above things that we do on a daily basis. I'm always like cleaning and organizing and sprucing things and getting rid of things and you know, stuff like that. Obviously we homeschool. There's other things we do on a smaller scale, you know, little, little tiny projects that we do here and there. But these are like the main things that I want to work on for October, whether it be projects or like I said, being intentional family time, um, things for myself, like, you know, recommitting to my workouts. And this is a, an ongoing thing for me. I've worked out consistently for nine years. And so you do get to those points where you're like bored or burned out or plateaued or, you know, whatever it is. And you feel like, Sometimes you just need to mentally recommit to why you're working out in the first place and why you're trying to make that a priority in your life in the first place. So I'm actually really excited. Um, like I said, I haven't worked out in about a week and a half. Um, I wasn't feeling well. And then even when I started feeling better, um, I just was like, well, I'm too busy. I'll do it tomorrow. And I know that's the very worst thing to do because you're always going to be too busy to um to fit it in to get it done it's one of those things if you either make it a priority or you don't um and just for whatever reason the last week and a half i didn't um, and i feel bad about that but i'm encouraged and i'm excited about tomorrow i'm excited to finish the fuel program and start something doing other things um, after that's over i do maybe plan slash hope to add more categories to these planning videos although i feel like this is already really long and if i add any more categories it might be even longer so let me know your thoughts on that. And I will also link all the videos that I mentioned for you in the description box and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.